Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can collaborate on Photoshop using the cloud documents feature. All right, so I'm gonna show you a real life example of how myself and my business partner collaborate when we are creating YouTube thumbnails for our clients. Okay, so first thing I wanna show you is how you can actually invite someone to collaborate on your Photoshop project file. So when you're in Photoshop, you want to head over to the right hand side and you see this, this is a little button and it says invite to edit. So if you click that, you can punch in the other person's email address. Now this is their email address that they have associated with their Photoshop Adobe account program. It needs to be that email so that when you invite to edit, they will also have access to this same project file. So that's how you share it with someone or many people. It doesn't have, it can be more than one. And let me share with you our workflow. So there's two of us in our business, myself and my business partner, and we also do YouTube thumbnails. So my business partner, Arit, is the better graphic artist. She's the one that finalizes the thumbnail, designs the thumbnail. I prep the thumbnail for her with the digital assets and I'll show you what I mean. So I've got a blank canvas here and this is what a typical YouTube thumbnail size would be. And so to make the process faster and simpler, I prep this for her. So I get information from the client about what this thumbnail is gonna be, and I add in some digital assets. So I already have them here and I'll make them shown. So this might look like some weird abstract piece of thing, but this is how I prep it up for her. So I've got a logo here, right? The logo for the thumbnail. And then I have a background here, which is the main piece of the YouTube thumbnail. And then I have some text here. And so I prep this up for her, my business partner, Arit, and then I save it. I go file, save as, and then it's gonna ask me whether I wanna save it on cloud documents or on computer. You wanna save it on cloud documents. It's gonna be put up on the Photoshop cloud. And then when you invite others to edit, you can work on the project together. So I save it to cloud documents. Once I have all this, right? And then on my business partner's computer, she goes and signs into her computer opens up Photoshop, goes to her cloud documents. And then when you click on this here, this little house thing, and you click on cloud documents, you can see that you'll have your other cloud document file, project files here. And on her end, she will see this same one and she can click on it and work on it. I don't have to go and send her anything, zip a file or anything like that. Because I already invited her to the project, she can work on it. And when she saves it, I can see the changes. And so I prep this up for her and then she finishes it up and then it looks like this. And this for us saves us a lot of time. It streamlines the whole system because for my business partner, she's good at the design aspect of things. So if you give her a bunch of pieces of assets, if you give her the text, the logo, the background, some images, she can put it all together in a very nice, beautiful YouTube thumbnail. What takes a long time for her is to actually find the logo, find the proper background. You know, you can get really lost trying to find, you know, backgrounds for me. The decision is easy. I pretty much figure out what this thumbnail is about, grab the first thing associated with it, and then I download it and upload it here. If you're being too picky, things can take a long time. And especially if you're pumping out thumbnails on a pretty frequent basis, 
we found that this system works the best for us. So this is our workflow using the cloud documents feature on Photoshop. And I tell you, it has saved us a lot of time. It has made things a lot easier. From here, when Arit finishes the graphic, all she has to do is just save it. And again, it's going to be in our mutually shared cloud documents here. And then I can go and download this and then present it to the client. So that's one way you can collaborate on Photoshop cloud documents. I highly recommend using it if you have multiple people working on the same project. It's a lifesaver. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up. We would greatly appreciate it. And if you need some thumbnails designed, head down to the description below. We'll have our email there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.